Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I want to talk about the abstract painting thread on Reddit. Well, more so abstract art and just kind of art in general, but abstract painting for me and for a lot of others, mostly because that's the kind of work that tends to mostly be abstract. But today, I'm, the reason I want to talk about Reddit today in this video is because I, I've been getting more comments and stuff for people who are artists looking to, you know, get more traffic to their website or they're trying to get more sales or more visitors and stuff to their their accounts, stuff like that. Um, and Reddit is kind of an indirect way to do that. But I have seen a little bit of traffic just from Reddit. Um, but mostly it's just another good way to get exposure. And if people see the like the pictures or the links that I'm going to I'm going to show you, um, then sometimes they can just reach out to you or they can follow your stuff. And there is a way that they can find you even if they don't click on, you know, even if the link doesn't lead back to your work, um, there is a way you can kind of share that. So basically what Reddit is, is if you've, you've probably heard of Reddit by now, just because it's one of the most trafficked websites in the world. But if you don't know exactly what it is, it's essentially just a large forum. That's it. Um, just like the old school forums where you'd go on and post something and people would reply. That's essentially what Reddit is. It's just the, the world's biggest forum really for just about anything. So it sounds kind of scary to, to say, oh yeah, jump on Reddit and start posting, but it's really simple and really easy. Um, so essentially I'm just going to kind of go over the process and the two threads that I mostly use. So Essentially, what you would do is create an account on Reddit. Super easy, just sign up and all that. Now, once you've created an account on Reddit, some threads that you post to will require you to have a certain amount of karma, which is here, you can see that. Um, what that is, is that's just kind of like showing that you're active in the community. And you can build up karma by either posting in small threads or by commenting on other people's um, posts or like liking, you know, or upvoting. This is, you know, upvoting, downvoting. That, that's like basically the popularity of it. If you upvote something, then it gets up higher in the, you know, in those, it gets up higher in the results of whatever it's posted in essentially. So that's kind of how that works. Um, so if you can't, you know, post automatically, just start commenting on other people's stuff to build that karma. And then eventually you can post in the threads I'm going to talk about. So once you've created an account, you're going to try to build up some karma. So you're going to build up karma in the threads I'm going to talk about today. Um, and then you would just kind of go from there. So what I would do is since I'm an abstract artist, I'm going to start there. Um, but you can kind of go into whatever art you want, but essentially what you would do is you create your account and then start by searching for communities uh, based around the things that you kind of want to get built into. So since abstract art is where we're going, we're going to start there. So uh, there's two threads here that I'm currently a part of that I feel like are probably the, the two good places to start. And you could kind of view more. There's a lot of great ones here. There's even one for painting, which I'm surprised I'm not in that one. So I'm going to join it. But anyway, Here's what we do. We join a community and I would say start small, but you can join any of these. The reason I say start small is just because some of the threads don't really require karma to, to post, other ones do. So you, if you start in the smaller ones, generally you don't need, um, you don't really need to do that. Uh, so we're gonna start there, okay? So we're gonna start with this uh, abstract art. This is one that I personally posted it. And when you, what you do is you basically, you would join these threads, say you join the abstract art one, and then you're gonna create a post. And again, this is not as daunting as it sounds. Here, when you create these posts, you have to either link to an image, not a website, but an image, or you can post the image or video, you can upload it here. Um, and you wouldn't really do post here, you would just put the image and then you would upload it or you would link to the image directly. They don't, a lot of these threads don't really like you to link to web pages, but some of them do. So you really have to, each little thread that you join or each community you join has their own rules. So some of them will allow you to just post directly to it. Some of them you can only upload like an image or link to the image itself, not like a web page. So. 
it really just depends on the community you join. But let's say that they only allow images. So what you would do is you would just upload an image of your picture of the thing that you created. And then for the title, I know for the abstract art one, they prefer um, that you do like the title, the materials, like, you know, digital, or you do, you know, an Amazon canvas or whatever, and then you do the size or the year. So if it's a digital photo, I think you could just put like the year it was made. If it's an actual physical thing, then you would just put the size. Um, and then that's it. So you would just put that picture on there and then you would post. Now, you might wonder how would you get traffic to your website? Well, if you can post directly to a web page, like say I po you know post to a product page on my website, if I'm allowed to do that, I'll just link to that and then put that same title. However, if I can't link to it, then I'll just post the image. And even if it's not a clickable link, you posting your stuff, you can still get traffic and I'm gonna show you how. So I'm gonna show you uh, my profile real quick and some of the stuff that I have um, posted. So here we go. Um, these are like posts that I've done, right? And these are actually videos that I've posted um, because you can post video links. So what I'll do is I'll post my YouTube videos directly to like the abstract art thread. Okay. Now let's talk about uh, a post like the post to the abstract art uh, forum. So every time you post, even if it's just an image, right? So this one got like 31 upvotes, which means 31 people quote unquote liked it. Okay. Um, every time you post, it still shows who posted it. And so even if they go to my thing and say this was an image and you know, it wasn't like a clickable thing where they could go to my website. The image still is kind of drawing people in. It's still attracting traffic, right? And if they click on my name, it's going to go to my profile and they can actually see my little profile here. And here I actually have my website listed in my profile. So unfortunately, you can't really have a link to your website in your profile they don't really allow links like that but you could just post it here in this and honestly if you if your name is attached to it um they can follow your links to youtube so they can do that so like if i click that see it goes to youtube so it's like you know they can still see your threads and they can click on this and they can click on the link and go to youtube so youtube is one way that you could do it um or if you, you know, if you post the images, they may not allow you to link to your site, but you could still post images and have people search you out. So even if they didn't, let's say that someone came on here and someone who's never heard of you was on Reddit and they found you in an abstract art thread or the regular art thread or painting thread, whatever it is that you post to. Um, even if they didn't know who you are, if they clicked on that link and it wasn't a usable link, but they see your name and they see who you are and they start to see some of the other works that you do, chances are they could find you. And honestly, I had a buyer that bought from me last year that said that he found me on Reddit and it was locally. The person was local and they, they found me on Reddit. And you never know. Look, the point of all this is that it's not going to get you necessarily direct traffic to your site necessarily if you can't link to your site. But everything that you do that gets you a little bit more exposure is a possible sale. You never know where your sales are going to come from. You never you, you think that you just know the specific type of person, but honestly you've never you never know. I had a commission for a Pollock style piece that came to me from Facebook and I'm almost never on Facebook. Um, but I post my content to Facebook through, uh, through IFTTT, which I talked about in another video on social media. So my content gets pushed to Facebook and I had a commission and a sale that I ultimately did through Facebook of someone I had no idea who they were, but they found me on Facebook and I hardly ever go on Facebook. So my point is, is that you never know where the sales are going to come from. So if, you know, if one thing isn't working or if it stops working, there's always something else that you can do to kind of, you know, really 
get noticed somewhere else, right? And being and posting on these really high traffic websites like Reddit is just another way to do that. So sometimes you can link directly to your website. If you can't, you can upload the image. You could put your website here, you know, in your profile. Or if you, you know, do YouTube videos of your work, you can post those in these threads. So the main ones I would, t I would, you know, think about posting to is the abstract art one. If you do abstract, if not, then just do, you know, maybe art or painting or drawing, whatever you do. And you can post to those. Just make sure you follow whatever community guidelines there are for those communities. But a lot of people are really respectful in there. Or even if they say they don't like it, they'll tell you why. Um, so it's just another way to get exposure as an artist. Um, and it seems kind of like scary or daunting to post that content up there. But you know what? You have to get out there. You have to break that comfort zone in order to get noticed. That's just kind of how it works. It doesn't matter really how you do it. This is just another way to do it. So anyway, I just wanted to share um, that suggestion with you guys on the abstract painting thread or abstract art, art painting, all of those different like, communities. Just wanted to kind of share that process with you um, because it's just another way to get noticed as an artist. So that's pretty much it, guys. I will catch you guys in another video. The next one will be a painting video, so I'll see you in that one. Bye, guys.